Well, even as coalitions are being cemented in the political world, as we've seen, cement on the ground, actual cement, is quite costly. And this affects the construction industry that has been facing major hurdles in the recent past. First, it was the hike in prices of steel, while, which also impacted the cost of roofing sheds. Russia's invasion of Ukraine messed a situation that was steering to stability with the superpower one being one of the biggest producers of steel and aluminum. Now, cement prices are up. And to help us dissect this particular issue, I'm John Bar, Peter Theory, who is a business journalist here at Standard Group at the Economy Desk. Thank you very much, uh, Peter, for speaking to us. Uh, I mean, for starters, before even we look at the, the, the reason why. How, what is the variation? How have prices jumped? By how much? I think, you know, um, we were here last week talking about steel, like you said, and uh, cement uh, industry manufacturers, local manufacturers, are saying that they have increased the prices by up to maximum of 13, 12% from around 4 to 12 or 13 percent. But then you realize that uh, at the wholesale, that's where things have really, really uh, gone, you know, really high. Because I was speaking to somebody who bought a 50 kilo bag of cement somewhere in Kericho County yesterday for 1,000 shillings. And a bag he used to buy for 600 shillings. And I've spoken to retailers who are telling me that they are selling it for 700 shillings and 650 up from 520 shillings. So it's, it varies when it comes to uh, the retailers and the wholesalers. But you can tell, uh, I have the, 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 the manufacturers are saying it's 10, 11, 12 or 13 percent increase. That, that is quite a jump and that is on the manufacturing bit. So when you take a look at uh, the trickle down effect till it reaches the consumer when retailers put their margin, that is quite crazy. In fact, uh, you just told me, you know, somebody bought at a thousand bob uh, a pack, which is quite concerning. Let's take a look at the reasons why cement prices are up. Uh, of course, one of the easiest uh, low-hanging fruits is Russia and Ukraine conflict. Is that the only situation? No, Noah, and I think, well, it might look like a low-hanging fruit, but not entirely because you, you realize we were talking about steel the other day and we realized that Russia is one of the biggest manufacturers and exporters of steel in the world and also aluminum, as you said, and even iron ore. And Ukraine is also somewhere in that list. And mm -hmm. you also look at... Um, Coal. You, you, you look at uh, the manufacturers in Kenya who actually uh, manufacture, make their clinker locally. And uh, some of them really say right now that importation of coal has become too expensive and the making of clinker is a huge problem. And they're saying it's a global thing because, again, Russia happens to be one of the main uh, producers of coal. But not only that, Noah, as you asked. There's been an issue with the depreciation of the shilling, as you know, and that, of course, hurt importation. There was the COVID issue and then the logistical issue that happened after that. Remember what happened with these major uh, exporters or uh, producers of some of these things that are required globally. During such a pandemic, there was a lull. And once we somehow got out of the pandemic and business, businesses came back to life, they will prefer to feed their domestic industries or their domestic markets. Mm -hmm. And that means that there will be a struggle to feed the rest of the world that it, uh, with the demand hiking at such a point. So that is another issue that's a big one is, uh, of this moment. Mm -hmm. And you know we have had this kind of tug of war between those manufacturers who make their clinker locally and those who import their clinker with those who make it locally saying that the duty for importation of clinker should actually go up. And uh, the other ones who actually import it resisting and saying, no, look, these guys are going to control the market uh, unfairly. So this tug of war has been there for some time and it looks like it's going to continue right now because those who have the means really and are able to do it locally uh, have an upper hand even as we speak. Okay. And uh, now the impact, overall impact on, uh, on the construction sector to be specific, how are people in the sector reacting? Is it halting projects? Is it uh, slowing down? How is the, the industry reacting to this? 
No, I, I, I'll start by indicating that over the last easy two years of COVID-19, we've realized that as the food and hospitality industries took a very massive hit, the construction industry somehow seemed to just be doing better and better. And uh, there, were, there were claims it's government's projects, uh, completion of you know, super highways, expressways, Lamu port and everything. But you realize that cement has been consumed at very, very high levels. And now that looks like it's suffering because you have steel that has already has not yet stabilized and there is this whole issue of scrap metal versus China which is the biggest producer of steel and exporter to Kenya in the world now kind of not ready to sell as much as it used to I have talked about first and foremost feeding the local markets and you realize you have a problem with steel which includes a lot of building materials including uh, roofing sheets and now you have cement and with this kind of increase in prices okay. uh, it's expected and this is wholesalers say there have been people queuing to ask for cement but okay. some of them are pulling away from it and saying let's hold back okay. uh, because with this price and of course you have your uh, BQs a bill of quantities uh, ahead of construction it means you're going to spend too much on cement and that might you know uh, hamper your construction plans because you don't have money for something else so it looks like uh, some of the construction activities will definitely take to uh, have to take a back seat all right. as we try to assess how the market okay. will be but we just right. looking at, into that all right thank you very much uh, peter theory uh, for your input on modest cement prices at this particular moment we head over to BBC 